Hey guys, welcome to the Jailbreak Nation. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to edit your system strings or your springboard strings, um, whatever you want to call it. But if you don't know what uh, springboard strings are, it allows you to change the notifications that pop up, like um, battery is 20% and everything like that. You can change that to whatever you want. And here you see my slide to unlock down here. Instead of saying slide to unlock, it says TJN for the Jailbreak Nation. So um, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the application to do it, and then how to get it, how to um, edit your strings from the application. So we want to unlock. We want to open up Cydia. And I'm just going to come back when Cydia loads. Alright guys, so Cydia has loaded. Now, um, the package that we want to install is our paid package. It costs $4 in the Cydia store. Um, it does come with a trial, I think, which has ads in it, um, or notifications every now and then telling you to either donate to the uh, developer or pay for the application. There are ways of getting it for free, but I'm not going to go into that because copyright issues. So, um, what we want what we want to do, we want to go to search. We want to search for the package i file, all one word, just i then file. Now here I do have the um, paid version here, which I have ticked, and then above that in a source that I have added, there's a cracked version. I'm not going to go anywhere near that. Um, I don't like to get stuff illegally, so I'm going to open up the paid version, the proper I file from the developer. Now, um, it's going to say it costs four bucks, but you can install it free of charge, see? Commercial app plus free trial right there. So, what you want to do, in the top right corner here, where mine says modify, yours is going to say install if you don't have it already. You want to click on that and then go confirm and um, let Cydia do its thing. So I'll just get out of this. Now here's the application in the bottom right corner here. It's called iFile as the package was called. Um, basically what it is, it allows you to SSH into your f um, iPod or phone without a computer. Um, if you don't know what SSH in is, don't worry. Um, you can search it up if you want but I'm not going to go into that right now, that's for another video. Now you should be greeted with this screen. Um, if you're not greeted with the same screen, there should be a button in the top left corner saying back. Just press back. Alright, yeah, so we want to go down, down. We want to go to system here. Library. Now here, we want to go to core services, right there. And now we have springboard.app. I want to click on that. Now it's going to show you um, lots and lots and lots of languages. Up the top there should be English. Um, just choose the language that you have set on your device at the moment. So I'm going to go English, obviously. Now here you have four options, localized application name, springboard.strings, and ussd strings. We're going to edit the springboard string, so you just want to click that button there. And now in the top left corner we can go edit. Just a kind of warning before you do anything, don't mess with this if you don't know what you're doing or if you don't know what you're editing, otherwise you could seriously stuff up your device. So in the top left corner, I just want to click on edit, and for some reason it's going to take you down to the very bottom. So here you can um, edit things like we have yesterday here, you can change the notification yesterday to say something else wrong passcode, you can change it to don't enter my iPhone without my, my permission, you know, some like that. So I'm going to show you how to edit the lock label, this is where it says slide to unlock. You're going to scroll up all the way to the top as I'm doing right now. Now here, uh, just down from the top, you should have something called away lock label, right here. Away lock label. So that's the thing that you want to edit. Now here when mine says TJN, that's what I put in. I can go slide to unlock. No, not unblock. Unlock. So then once you've done that, you want to click save in the top right corner. Done. 
and then just click the home button. Now you're gonna have to respring your, your device. Um, if you don't know how to do that, um, if you have boss prefs, you can do it from that. If you have SB settings like I do, um, we'll just swipe the top corner there. Um, I'm gonna have a video on this application here very soon, but you just wanna click respring here where it says respring. And I'm gonna come back when that is done. Alright guys, so my device has resprung, and here you see it has changed back to slide to unlock. The normal thing, slide to unlock, bada bing bada boom, you're done. So uh, thanks for watching guys, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Um, when I get to 100 subscribers I'm going to be giving away our um, iSkin Vibes case for the iPod Touch second generation, so subscribe to get into that, um, everyone's going to be entered. So, uh, thanks guys, thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe as I said before, and peace.